Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. I'm going to start with this. PPP loans were bipartisan and meant to keep employees on the payroll and get paid. They were designed to be forgiven. Facts. The world runs and trades on the U.S. dollar. If inflation rises in the U.S., it rises everywhere so countries can keep pace. So yes, it is our fault. They're talking about the inflation throughout the world. We more or less exported our inflation everywhere at this point because the rest of the world also runs on the U.S. dollar. Eric, you keep asking about gold. It doesn't go up just because war breaks out, but because countries aim to diversify from the U.S. dollar into it. All currencies are falling versus USD, and gold reserves can be used if necessary to defend against this. When the dollar pressure finally eases, it'll rip. And that's the thing. As the U.S. dollar falls in value, not only does gold rise, the stock market usually tends to go up, and crypto will skyrocket as the dollar falls. That's why it's good to invest in crypto, especially when the dollar is as high as it is right now. At some point, it's coming back down. It's going to probably go into a free fall at some point. There's nothing really backing the U.S. dollar at this point. They will most probably stabilize USD, EUR, GBP at a 1 to 1 to 1 exchange rate before introducing a joint CBDC. CBDC introduction in the UK is the main task of this Goldman Sachs educated World Economic Forum puppet. Now, the scary thing is, is if the US dollar, the EUR, and GBP all are pegged to $1 at some point, People keep saying that's when something crazy is going to happen. I don't believe that. I believe it, they might peg it to each other so they could easily roll out a CBDC at the same time. It's not the market. It's the World Economic Forum who decided to support the joke Bitcoin, which is not a threat to replace the U.S. dollar anymore. Now remember, isn't like Bitcoin supposed to be against the World Economic Forum? Well, Lightning Labs is building a programmable financial layer for the internet with fast, scalable Bitcoin transactions. Lightning is like a credit card network for Bitcoin, enabling instant, high-volume transactions with fees far lower than credit cards. The company is developing the Lightning software infrastructure along with financial products that make it easier to send and receive funds on Lightning. So the World Economic Forum is the one that created it, the Lightning Network. And yet people think that their Bitcoin is so safe from the World Economic Forum. It's laughable at this point. It's obvious to anyone paying attention to that the U.S. Federal Reserve and the Russian Federation are working together in an effort to destroy the World Economic Forum. Great reset by denying them the U.S. dollar. Now. I don't know if Russia and the U.S. are working together against the World Economic Forum. I, it's hard to believe that would even be happening. But what I do believe is that the U.S. is definitely on board with the World Economic Forum agenda and that Great Reset agenda. The Fed, however, is a total different entity. They might be working with Russia against the World Economic Forum in the background. But who knows? Like I said, I'm speculating on that. Keeps making enemies around the world through proxy wars for control of resources and strategic land. The world had enough. That's why BRICS is here. We don't want war. We fight for a better life for our people. The BRICS currency will be the new global reserve currency by 2030. Now, that's the thing. BRICS seems to be doing something all of their own. They want to push forward with a gold-backed currency. That would definitely crush the U.S. dollar at this point because the U.S. dollar is propped up by nothing. The war in the Ukraine is between Team NATO and Team BRICS. Whoever wins the global working class loses. It is a battle to see who will lead the new world order. 
Now that's who really pays in all of this is the working class because they're the ones that go to work and pay for all of this. And the thing is also, I hope somehow the U.S. backs our dollar by gold. That's how we really compete with the rest of the world. But we need to get the bankers out of the government in order for that to happen, in my opinion. You need to add how the petrodollar works. The USD relies on this massively. It has had several wars in the Middle East defending it and supports OPEC because they keep tra trading in the US dollar. Russia and China ain't playing ball and this rocks USD dominance. And that's what's going on with OPEC right now. It's a battle to keep control of that oil. The, that's why OPEC pretty much giving Biden the finger is not good for the US dollar. When you print money, it becomes worthless and takes more money for the same purchasing power. For example, when OPEC sells a barrel of oil and they still want the same money they were asking before you doubled the supply of dollars, meaning they want twice as much. And that's the thing, as you keep printing print money, it becomes worth less and less value. That's why all of a sudden everything costs much more than it did before we printed that money. For all of those noobs out there, this means that there is not enough liquidity to keep the financial system running. When this happens, the central banks print money to inject in the system. XRP and ODL solve this problem. I hyperinflation make me rich. And that's what it's going to come down to at some point. Everyone's going to need XRP and that on-demand liquidity. I said it in countless videos. That's what makes me and you rich off of our XRP. World Economic Forum names XRP as crypto asset most relevant in central bank digital currency space, the daily hodl. And the reason it's the most relevant is because of that ODL. It's also the cross-border payments, the speed, it's green, and it's cheap. But the ODL is probably the most important reason. Because at some point, every country is going to need that on-demand liquidity. Let's face it, you see where the world's headed. I pointed out in countless videos. When I do a video, I more or less talk about what's going on in the world today. Because everything going on in the world all leads to the same place. XRP and on-demand liquidity. You can't be in denial about Ripple. Sailor will either jump ship or be sorry. Surely not. Banks and financial institutions all over the world backing XRP because of things like ODL and instant settlement. Bitcoin can't and never will do that. Its supply would prevent it. And it's never going to be Bitcoin. And all those people right now trying to push Bitcoin like the savior of the day are get it, gonna get a lot of people wrecked in my opinion. I do believe though, Bitcoin's gonna have one massive blow off top as the US dollar falls. Anybody still left in Bitcoin, once it comes back down, will be probably stuck in Bitcoin for a long, long time. I think after we get that blow off top, everything is gonna be about utility because that's when the new financial system will roll out as everything is crashing. That's what they're pushing for. Ripple did not hijack Wall Street Station. They simply made Wall Street an offer they couldn't refuse. And you see it right here. Avoid pre-funding with instant settlement. You see USD, EUR, G JPY, originators. Then you see the digital asset exchange, XRP in the middle, like it always is, as that trust layer. Then you see the digital asset exchange, and it comes back out as MN, MXN, PHP, THB, or whatever. It's 24-7, 365 days payments. 3 seconds to settle. 40 to 60% cost savings. Green, cheap, and fast. That's what it comes down to. And that's why it will always be XRP in the middle. No matter what system they create, they're still going to need that XRP. Because that's where all the value is. And when the World Economic Forum says it's the most relevant in a CBDC, 
it's most likely because of on-demand liquidity. But with that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I will see you in the next one. Have a great night.